Hi everybody, welcome back. Chad Sahar here with Sahar and Sons Real Estate and hanging out with Charity Finkel with Academy Mortgage. That's right. And today for video three, we're going to talk about buyer closing costs. This is what how you can prepare uh, financially when it comes to how much money you're going to need to actually purchase a property and get a loan through Charity. Yeah. Charity, would you share that with us and just what they can expect? Sure. So it's my job as your lender to talk to you about all the closing costs associated with getting a home um, and getting a mortgage. What that will include is uh, your appraisal fee, your title charges, your homeowner's insurance, your property taxes, all of that really built in. The only exception to that would be home inspection because it's actually not a requirement. We also like to indicate on your estimate any earnest money that you may have applied in the transaction. Chad, could you talk to us a little bit more about earnest money? Absolutely. So you guys, when we find your perfect home, here's what we're gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit down with you and I'm gonna ask you for a check that is gonna be within equivalent to about one percent of the purchase price of that property. That is actually a good faith amount that you're gonna actually um, put some skin in the game per se to the seller. It shows the seller um, that you are really invested into this property through the process of the contract. So that money will actually get credited back to you in the form of a credit at the time of closing. So depending on the loan structure that charity has you in, um, that money could come back to you full term, or what that does is it eliminates the amount of out-of-pocket expense for your closing costs that you would need to bring to the table. So hopefully that really helps. Charity, anything else that you'd want to add to that? Oh, just maybe that, um, you know, just based on an average home price of three fifteen, those total closing costs usually end up about 4500 putting the earnest money about between 3000 and 3500 All right. So you could just, again, like Chad said, apply that in many different ways. That's right. But through the process, Charity and I will be here to ensure exactly what you're going to, what you're going to need at the time of closing. So stay tuned because video four is all about buyer mistakes and what usually happens. So thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week.